Now, unless you've been living under a rock for the last couple of years, you will be well aware that a big transition is rippling its way across the world. My name is Nikki Shields. I'm an automotive journalist. Some say I'm a bit of an EV geek. But why am I here talking to you? Well, my hint at the beginning was referring to our move towards carbon neutrality and a renewable future. We're also witnessing a dramatic change in our energy landscape. And while the switch from fossil fuels to new sources of energy like wind and solar is absolutely critical, it isn't a simple one. Solutions that can help make this transition as smooth and as straightforward as possible are obviously going to be really valuable. And as our mobility becomes increasingly electrified, one such solution is actually closer to becoming an everyday reality than you might have realised. Well, we're actually already seeing lots of progress and the next 10 years we'll see a rapid growth in the number of electric vehicles on our roads. Now, this is the interesting thing. A recent study by the European Environment Agency actually found that in the future up to 80 percent of cars in the EU will be electric. Now, I am sure you are already aware that the EU is phasing out the sale of new petrol and new diesel powered cars by 2035. This is all part of an effort to reach its goal of producing net zero carbon emissions by 2050. At the same time, renewable sources of energy are on the increase. In 2021, renewables generated around 37% of our electricity here in Europe. And that figure, fortunately, is expected to grow to 69% by 2030. It's starting to sound good, but while the transition to renewable energy continues, a number of challenges still need to be considered and overcome. These include a higher demand for electricity at peak times. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's take this as an example. When we wake up in the morning, turn our kettles on, or for the caffeine addicts, put our coffee machines on, or perhaps in the evening, we cook a meal after work whilst watching the TV. We see a spike in energy demand, which is instantly created. In addition, the level of fossil fuels that generate electricity decreased from 39% in 2019 to 37% in 2021. So a lot more needs to be done to reduce the carbon intensity of energy creation. And countries still need to increase their capacity to generate and store energy to meet the higher demand in the future. So let's think about this. When it comes to storing energy, batteries, like the larger ones found in EVs, could actually become a really efficient solution. Now, this potential will only grow as EV ownership increases and has the knock-on effect of increasing the number of large batteries that energy can be stored in, and they are often connected to the grid. To really make the most of this opportunity, a new concept called vehicle to grid is being developed right now. And soon this may become a key feature in all future EVs. And if it does, it offers a really clever solution that would help with the world's big energy transition. Vehicle to grid, or as the cool kids like to call it, V to G, will not only benefit EV owners, but also wider communities and local energy grids. Now, here's how it works. When it equips with V to G technology, EVs can actually act as a storage place for renewable energy generated by wind and solar. By intelligently choosing a time to charge when there's plenty of renewable energy available, they can then feed renewable energy back to the grid during times when solar or wind power can't be generated at night or on a day when there's calm weather, for example. Also, during peak times when large amounts of energy are being consumed, V2G technology would allow EVs to supply electricity back to the grid as and when needed, and that will help even out the demand. As the infrastructure to support vehicle-to-grid technology is further developed and used to manage the supply of energy, the greater the potential benefit for our communities. For example, when wind turbines or solar panels produce more electricity than the grid actually requires, V2G enabled EVs can be used to store that excess electricity. Meanwhile, as well as making renewable energy available around the clock, EV owners could even earn money through their vehicle's battery on the electricity market. Yeah, I thought that would get your attention. When you think about it, for much of the day, EVs remain parked and stationary. And actually most daily journeys usually only require around one tenth 
of the car's battery capacity when it's actually being driven. After charging their vehicles at a lower cost during off-peak hours, EV owners could then sell the unused energy in their batteries during the peak times when electricity is in demand and its price is higher. This way, EV batteries can be used as a source of flexible and low carbon energy to support the stability of your local grid, as well as giving EV owners the opportunity to contribute to the stabilization of their local grid, V2G technology will also contribute to the reliable provision of renewable energy. On top of all of this, a number of projects have demonstrated how V2G technology can provide additional benefits, including boosting the democratization of the grid, i.e. making it more accessible, supporting new entrants to the energy market and empowering communities so we can all benefit from zero carbon energy sources. As V2G technology expands, all our electric vehicles combined could serve as a power plant spread throughout the community. Think about this. One EV can store enough electricity to supply up to five households for 24 hours. If you scale that up, imagine the impact electric vehicles could have on towns and cities with thousands of homes. And actually, it's not just towns and cities. Entire countries would be able to reap the benefits. Taking advantage of excess renewable energy during the middle of the day and offsetting peak morning and evening grid demand. By supporting the decarbonisation of the energy system away from coal and gas-fired power stations, V2D technology would represent an important step on our path to independence from fossil fuels, reducing carbon emissions and achieving climate neutrality. As the world is moving towards a clean and renewable future, I'm absolutely fascinated to see what role V2G technology will play in our journey to net zero.